and he will do two leg kicks. There's one, there's another, and a jump spin back kick. And there's another. Sir, you need that kick. But what that causes is that causes the big pause in your motion, okay? So when I teach my guys, we'll switch to this side so you guys can see too. What I teach my guys is what I call a C-chamber. My knee circles. This way, does that make sense? So there's never, bang, never a stop in that motion as I fire my kick, okay? Oh, All right, guys, so what I wanted to talk about real quick is just a simple lead leg side kick, okay? And how we generate a little more power with that kick. And I understand that a lot of times the side kick is not so much about the, the power, Sometimes it's just a little quick jab. I'm just reaching out there, boom, so I can follow up and use my hands or whatever I want to do. Does that make sense? Yes, so, so right now, it's just this taught just power. How do I generate power on my psyching? So a lot of times when we, uh, I have not addressed your stance, your foundation. It's huge. Sure. But I'm not going to spend uh, much time on that today. I'm just going to talk about the dynamics of the kick. Okay, guys? So a side kick, a lot of times we're taught to pull our knee back in chamber, right? Yes, sir. Knee that kick. But what that causes is that causes the big pause in your motion, okay? So what I teach my guys, I'll switch to this side so you guys can see too. What I teach my guys is what I call a C-chamber. My knee circles. This way, does that make sense? So there's never, bang, never a stop in that motion as I fire my kick, okay? In other words, I don't go, stop, go. There's another piece of this that's really important. I've taught this to this, you know, listen, I'm like a, I'm like an ant amongst giants right now. Okay. You guys understand that. So don't take this the wrong way, but I've taught this to some highly experienced martial artists and they're just like, Oh my God, I've never thought of that cool part. And I'm like, okay, cool. It makes you feel good inside. Right? Sure. Because they, most people are taught lead like sidekicks aren't powerful. That's just not true. A lead like kind of sidekick can be devastating. Not to mention if he's moving forward, boom, and I time that right. Oh man, I've added my weight to his weight and the extension of the kick. Now it's really, it's like a, a, a missile hitting a, a train. And you see like a train, he's big, right? And that, that's the missile because it's small. It's a size 15, it's kind of small. But anyway, you guys get my drip. Okay, so here's the thing, C chamber. There's one more piece I want to emphasize real quick. I call it spiking. So watch my base leg. Do you guys see how I need to wait? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you guys see the difference? Sir. It's the range and distance. Yeah. He just did this. <laughs> That's right. So what I did is I took my base leg and as I hit the bag, I'm extending it into the floor at the same time. Yes, sir. And when I finish this kick, my hips are engaged. My butt's not out this way. Look at this again. When I kick with my butt out, which is not uncommon, there's no weight behind my kick. You guys with me on that? So, yes, sir. Two things I want you to think about. I want y'all to go back to your lines and work on this. C chamber, knee, sucks, uh, makes a C arcing motion instead of back stop and go, and spiking that face kick, that base foot, so I can drive my kick. Uh, people think flexibility in martial arts is about kicking high. Flexibility in martial arts is about kicking hard. Everybody say hard. 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 It's about kicking hard. But flexibility allows me to hit hard, right? Yes, sir. It's just common sense. If I don't have enough flexibility to pick it up anyway, now to force it up there, I'm fighting my own body. Yes, sir. sir. Right? If I'm going to strike and my hands are very tight, my biceps fighting, my triceps fighting, my forearm, everything's fighting. But if everything's loose, bang, and I go fast, I'm loose, I'm flexible, I'm fast. So I encourage a lot of stretching. Yes, sir. Sir. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch your hamstrings, work your hips, keep your mobility high. Does that make sense, guys? Yes, sir. By the way, I'm 51. I'm probably not at my peak uh, because I'm, I guess, kind of tipping over the hill. I hate saying that, but kind of tipping over the hill a little bit, right? Never. But I find it every day. <laughs> what? Knocking the hill down. Yeah, knocking it down. <laughs> but I find it every day. But my point is, just don't stop training and digging deeper and finding better ways to do things. Does that make sense, guys? Sir. Sure. Okay. What are the two things I'm looking for? C chamber. Spike. 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 Wait, say C chamber. C chamber. Spike. Spike. This is about power. If I wanted to just pump a fast little side, boom, so I can follow it with something else, something else, something else, I can do that, right? Sir. It's, it's, this is not about just a quick jab. This is about powerhousing something. Okay, guys? Yes, sir. Sir. To me in my weird little world, it's easy to add power by stepping in and moving my feet around. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. 
because when I step, it allows me to adjust my hips to better my position. So I really want you, I really am I'm gonna encourage you. When you train, train right off the floor, bang. Yes, train everything right off the floor, bang. And think self-defense. This guy's stepping in on me, bang. I gotta hit him before he gets there. I don't have time for a step, right? I Did Chip say this up for wrong? No. Because now I can back out a half step and step in and hit you even harder. You guys with me? Because now I can engage that forward movement, right? But really try these fundamental kicks with no extra movement. Just pick it up and fire. Just pick it up, boom, and fire. Pick it up, back. Fire the kick right from there, not steps, okay guys? Hey guys, I just wanted to thank you for watching Boodle Brothers. How awesome was that? So I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for watching, my name is Chip Townsend. If you wanna connect with me, just Google Chip Townsend. I'm on Facebook, The Chip Townsend. Uh, we have an affiliate program, Team Chip, affiliate.com. We have a lot of great things. We also have a nonprofit called Kicks for Kids Texas, where we scholarship kids that live in the poverty line or below fully into martial arts so that we can change lives. Thanks so much for watching Budo Brothers. What an amazing program. Thanks for being here.